Right then, welcome back to another vid, another Call of Duty vid. Calm down, I can hear everyone's excitement. Can't believe it's back. Brilliant, Call of Duty, I love it. Yeah, I know you do. Um, or not. Maybe uh, maybe not, then, after all. I think some people like Call of Duty, but some people hate it. My stance on it is that I've always liked it, but I haven't actually played any Call of Duty game for probably three, four, maybe even five months. Not played any. These are just old video clips on my hard drive. And I think I've got maybe three or four uh, full games in their, in their entirety. Well, they would be in their entirety if they're full, I guess. And so what I'm probably going to do is upload them all before Christmas and just get them out of the way. And, you know, never say never, good reflexes, never say never in the future to uploading any more. But I think Black Ops 2 have kind of done, um, it's done its time, if you like. Now I'm not really playing it anymore and all the rest of it. And in fact, playing online, nearly got a team kill there, that would have been funny. Well, check this out though, because any second now, that happens. So that um, Claymore, or the Bouncing Betty that I accidentally kind of threw in the wrong place, ended up getting someone. That was pretty, pretty good. But yeah, not really played Call of Duty or any game online for absolutely months on end. And I think it's that whole kind of thing about, I'm not really sure whether I want to go next gen, whether I want to wait, or what I want to do. But what I am going to do is talk about, oh, there's Marcus there, X-Files signing on. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the whole next gen thing and my feelings on it, for anyone who cares in my next vid, and it'll be a vlog vid I reckon, I might do that tomorrow, or it might be the day after, or uh, next week, or whatever it is, but my next vid will be a vlog, and I'll talk about several things, you know, mix it all up. I've got a few pickups, but they're just Atari ST games, um, and there's a few rubbish ones, but they all came as part of a bundle, so I don't really feel like it's worth putting on a, uh, putting as a separate pickup vid, because they're not that great, but if I add them on, tag them on to the end of a, of a vlog, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. And I think I just saw Marcus there. He didn't just come online, he sneakily, I think I saw in the top right hand corner there, came on um, to Black Ops 2. I don't think he joins this lobby. I don't really think we played that many games. Maybe right at the start, when I added Marcus or he added me, whichever way it went, uh, to each other's friends list, I think I joined a couple of his lobbies. But um, I didn't have the headset on because I'm the most anti social uh, online gamer ever. You know, I just pretend I haven't got a headset when I have. <laughs> I don't know what it is, just can't be bothered. I, actually, to tell you what the truth, I think what it is, is I just can't concentrate. I can't concentrate and do well and talk at the same time. It's just, I just can't do it. If I don't have the headset on, I usually do well, but if people are talking, look at him hiding there. Ah, oh, and then someone gets me. Uh, a camper, shall we say, even though I was probably just about to camp. But yeah, I, I just don't really, um, I don't do very well when I'm talking online, but maybe at uh, the next generation, if I get uh, those systems or one of the systems I, I may uh, I may become more of a, uh, a social gamer if you like I, th I think I probably will because I've been too much of a of a hermit in this generation or at least the last kind of few years initially when the 360 came out I used to always talk on the headset and um, but I guess right at the start there was a lot of friendly people and then over the years over at, on Xbox Live especially but the PlayStation Network has kind of got a little bit like this as well uh, but Xbox Live, without question, is just the worst service in the world for, for back chat and swearing and, and abuse. But back in the day, as the saying goes, it never really used to be like that. Uh, you know, it was a pretty friendly community, but it's just one of them things, isn't it? So yeah, anyway, this is a game off a map called Downhill with the snowy conditions. And I like the sound, you probably can't hear it too much in the background, but you hear like the wind kind of blowing in the background and the snow kind of gently falling and then your footsteps going in the snow as well. It's a good little map, and one of the DLC maps as well, which uh, I think it's a DLC map anyway. Maybe I've got that wrong. I can't remember, because it's such a long time since I bloody played it. But anyway, that's that. So uh, yeah, here we are playing a game of Kill Confirm. This is my favourite game mode. It's hardcore as well, so basically one hit, pretty much. Or a couple of hits, certainly, and you'll kill the opposition. But it also means that, uh, you know, if you shoot a teammate, then it counts as a team kill. So that's never a, a cool thing to do. And if you get three team kills, in the same game you get essentially kicked out of the lobby which at times can be really unfair because it can genuinely be an accident and believe it or not it can be an accident three times uh, sometimes also what I find and it's really annoying and it's kind of a form of trolling to be honest but what you can do and I've seen this happen so much is I could place uh, let's say a bouncing Betty on the ground and a teammate could kill, uh, well, could kill he could shoot that bouncing Betty so that it kills the teammate and that actually counts as me killing a teammate, even though the teammate kind of did it deliberately at times, just to get people kicked out of lobbies. 
Which is kind of funny if you think about it, but funny in a in a very childish manner, I guess. But yeah, kill confirmed. Basically, you kill the opposition, and they leave behind a golden tag. You pick up the tag, and it counts towards your score. And I think it's the first one to 100 wins, or uh, whoever's got the highest score by the time the timer runs out. And more often than not, I do end up winning games of kill confirmed. I'm not saying I win them because of me, but I, maybe a combination of, of me, um, my style, and playing with good players. But what I tend to do a lot is the actual objective, is I try and pick up the tags, whereas a lot of people play this game mode, and they just ignore the tags. They just go around trying to kill people just to get the kill, just to up their kill to death ratio, which is ridiculous. You know, it's kill confirmed. The idea is pick up the tags. And the reason I'm not grabbing that one, uh, teammates got it now, so it didn't, it didn't matter, is because I thought someone was there and I obviously, well, there, there he was. And I didn't want to leap out into the open. Because, like I say, it is hardcore, so one or two hits and you're finished. So, yeah, I think uh, that's about all I want to talk about, really. I guess I could touch upon the fact that I've been quite inactive over the course of the last four or five weeks. I think I've uploaded one vid in the space of, well, six weeks or whatever it is, which is pretty poor. I realise that, but I just think, you know, it's good to take a bit of a back seat. And I've been busy. Definitely, I've been lazy without question. But, you know, I've been busy as well, just doing things, outside interests and all the rest of it. And, yeah, sometimes it's nice to, to take a back seat. The obvious downside to that is you do lose a bit of communication with people, that interaction with, uh, with YouTubers, which is always nice to have. You know, that kind of dwindles, to say the least. But, you know, it's never, ever anything personal. I don't avoid people, you know, it's just sometimes if I'm not online, I can't watch the vids. And I can always catch up and watch them in the future. Um, I will admit that over time, over time, uh, quite recently, I've become one of those people who tends to watch a vid without leaving a comment. Um, I don't know why, but maybe it's that thing about just being a bit lazy, not really having anything to say, so not saying anything rather than just leaving a generic comment. Um, maybe I should just leave a comment, I don't know. But uh, I think it, it is good to have a bit of a backseat sometimes. But I do have videos in the pipeline. You know, as ever, I've got the diary stuff to do. I keep meaning to crack on with that. I've got them football vids, which obviously it's for a specific audience of people. Um, not for people, I imagine, <laughs> who are subscribed to me in, you know, in the gaming community. But I do want to get back to doing them. Uh, you know, I've got the Games X stuff to do. I've got well, a vlog, which is probably, uh, I did say definitely would be my next vid. Probably going to be my next vid. Uh, unless I treat you to a, a double dose of Black Ops. Uh, <laughs> you never know, never say never. I do have three or four on my hard drive, so I might as well get rid of them. And I'm also still toying, very much toying, with bringing that YouTube FC thing back, just for a bit of fun. Uh, there's pros and cons to doing it. Uh, one, it's the time, uh, whether I can be bothered, basically. Not just that, but it is somewhat a little bit tricky. Because there are people who wanted to be part of it, um, you know, when I said I'd be doing another one. This must have been about six or seven months ago now. And I haven't heard from them since. I don't think they've watched any vids that I've done. I can't complain because I probably haven't watched any they've done either. Um, so it's a bit tricky now because I said they'd be in it and they gave me their information. But it's like, can I really be picking them in a team when I don't really know them? It's, it's kind of really awkward. So what I may do is I'll put everybody in the team, if I do them, uh, or at least in the squad... And uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. I guess if I, if I stick to my part of the bargain and uh, put them in the squad, like I said I would, then, um, then that's fine. But it's, it would be a bit stupid, I think, for me to be picking people who maybe have since unsubscribed. <laughs> kind of defeats the object, I think, because the whole thing's just a bit of fun, This uh, the whole YouTube FC. It's about interaction and banter for people who I know and who know me. And if we're not subscribed to each other or one, or, one way or the other, then that, that's kind of... Um, it does somewhat defeat the object. But anyway, I think the gameplay is coming to a close. Uh, we win the game. I don't actually finish first. Shock, horror. Or second. This is outrageous. I finished third, but I am on the winning team. So anyway, yeah, I'll be back with uh, more vids. Maybe another Black Ops vid just to fill in time. Uh, but probably going to be the vlog vid sometime this week. But uh, whatever video it is, I'll be back soon. See you later.